For as long as I knew Eugene, he had his sights set on space. All these years later, I can't believe he's still up there, my man on the moon. Eugene and I were married 46 years. I first met Eugene when he was studying geology at Princeton. He would tell me about all the secrets the Earth held, and of course, his favorite, those impact craters. Soon enough, he got me to fall in love with those rocks too. After the kids had grown and were out of the house, I was looking for something to do, and Gene suggested maybe I would like to see things through the telescope. We spent our days holed up in Lowell Observatory. I believe that this nation should when Kennedy announced that they were going to send a man to the moon, Gene was terribly excited. Gene wanted to go to the moon more than anything else. Then he got the medical test. Addison's disease. His immune system wasn't protecting him the way it needed to. They couldn't risk him leaving Earth. He felt like <laughs> his goal had suddenly disappeared. At the same time, he was not a quitter. He set up his own mock lunar site and trained Neil Armstrong and the rest of the boys before they took off. Our focus changed over the years from looking up at the moon and looking at the sky to how the Earth was formed. We packed up and crisscrossed Australia looking for signs of impact craters. On the day of the accident, we were just looking off in the distance, talking about how much fun we were having and then suddenly there appeared the Land Rover in front of us. There was no time to think. The two vehicles collided and Jean died. I had a call while I was in the hospital. She said, they're about to send a mission up to the moon. I wonder if you would like to put Jean's ashes on the moon. And so I said, I think that would be wonderful. The whole family was there to wave Gene goodbye. After the mission was completed, it uh, ran out of fuel and it crashed into the moon. And that's where Gene's ashes are now. Suddenly, the man who spent his whole life studying craters had made his own impact. I miss him always. But to this day, I can look up at the moon and imagine him there with his rocks looking down at me. He still lights up every single one of my night skies. <laughs>